Hey guys, Kev here, and I uh, got a quick unboxing to do for you. Got a package here from my buddy over at uh, Tier 1 Gear and EDC Reviews, uh, Justin. He's a great dude. Um, we chat a little bit on Instagram. I've gotten to know him a little bit. He's a cool dude. I sent him my Benchmade Anthem to check out. Uh, pretty sad story there. Uh, he had one and absolutely loved the knife. And it was in his like top 10 knives of 2020, like his personal top 10. And um, apparently it got stolen from him uh, while he was, uh, well, I'm not going to tell the exact story, but it got stolen from him. And that's terrible. Uh, so I, you know, I sent him mine so he could film his video and um, he, he sent it back to me here. I did offer it to him to buy, um, but, you know, he didn't... Um, he, he had some other things he's looking to get. So um, I do have that back. And he was uh, gracious enough to include something for me as well. I asked him to send me um, his Riot, what is it called? Riot uh, Bushido, the front flipper. Because I'm curious as a lefty how these liner lock front flippers from Riot will work. The Bushido and the Tribute. Um, so I'm going to check this one out and see how it is. The unboxing knife, uh, today is the Demco Knives 8020. This is the one I unboxed yesterday, uh, in the lime green 20 CV with the Tom Crine regrind. And I did find out thanks to, uh, the knife liquor, AKA the knife whisperer, AKA Joe Frazier, AKA big Joe um found out that it is tom crine so that is how you pronounce that i absolutely love this knife um and as of right now it is not going anywhere so cut into this bad boy see what we are working with ah there's my knife case haha -ha. i've been looking for this thing i was wondering who i sent it to because i know i didn't give it away because i love this thing I originally got this from uh, Rodney, of course, another great guy. I bought a knife off him, and he sent it to me in this um, super cool uh, case for knives. You can fit two uh, medium-sized knives or one kind of larger knife in there. Uh, let me see if he added anything. Okay, so then we have the Riot case here, um, and that is it. So we can drop the uh, package there. Let me just open this up, make sure my anthems in here safe and sound and then we can move on to the riot because you guys have seen this before yep there it is that is the benchmade anthem uh still looking good yeah this is a good knife guys i've uh contemplated selling it a few times now uh or trading it to get something else um but like most knives i usually do that when they're not in my possession because I I don't think about them as much. I don't love them as much. Um, but then when it, once I get them back in hand, I'm like, ooh, do I really want to sell this? And uh, this Benchmade Anthem is one that I probably should keep. But I'm trying to convince Jake over at Bearded Gear to trade me for his uh, Richard Rogers OEM slut. So, I don't know. If I could get that deal done, I would probably trade this. Um, so, go give Jake a push for me. Tell him to give that up. Um, Alright, so that's the Anthem. And here is the Boshito. Or, as Slicey Dicey has told us 10,000 times, the Shabuti. I just think that joke is funny. He just keeps saying it. He just rolls with it. Which is fine. I'm just giving them a hard time. Cool cleaning cloth here. Um, we have some other stuff. I don't know. Silicone package. And a little Ziploc bag with... What is this? It looks like extra hardware. Look at that. I don't know if that's for this knife. Sorry, I dropped the uh, silicone package. Uh, silica. What am I silicone package <laughs> sorry guys it's a little late uh yeah it's been a little bit of a rough day wow this knife is small i thought it was bigger 
just feeling it in this pouch. It is small, guys. If I can get it out of here, I don't know what's up with this pouch. All right, here we go. It was like stuck on something? That's weird. Okay, putting the packaging away. Focus, Kev, focus. Okay, so this guy is tiny. Wow, I pictured it to be like this wide and like this tall. And it's tiny, which makes sense because it's kind of like a Pena front flipper style. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you that this is going to be M390. Um, it's carbon fiber, titanium frame lock, uh, all great things. We have a lanyard hole back here for you guys. That is not my style. Right hand only clip makes sense. Um, and that's the thing I worry about as a lefty with a front flipper is... When you're right-handed, you use the clip. You see how my fingers are wrapped around the clip? This is how I deploy the knife. Oh. Okay, well, I can't even deploy the knife right-handed, so that's not good. There you go. Um, but you kind of hang on to the clip a little bit. Um, so left-handed, you have to assume that's going to be even harder. Wow, this is a thin, slicey blade. Look at this thing. Wow, this is impressive. I do really like this, actually. Nice spine there. I'm not a big fan of these kind of, like, upswept blades. Uh, you know, it looks like a, uh, what do they call it? A, not a sway back, a quaking style, I guess. Not me, but uh, just because I find it weird when you're closing it, it's like the knife is backwards or something. Um, I can feel some movement there when I... Okay, so I can kind of do the index fingers. Is there a lot of play in this? No, there's no play, but when I, uh, yeah, you can hear that. There's some play in there when it closes. I have other Riots that do that, so I think that's just, uh, you know, I don't know, the nature of having a good action maybe because it drops shut. There's going to be a little movement perhaps. We are dead centered here. Um... Cool titanium backspacer, titanium milled clip. I mean, all quality things from Riyadh here. So left-handed is the problem. Can I grip? Uh, do I have enough grip to grab the flipper tab here and kind of whip it out, right? And the answer is, yeah, but just barely, and it's not comfortable. I'm really paying attention. So sitting on the couch, just like flipping this guy... You know, it just doesn't, I actually, right out the bat, I don't really like the flipper tab in general, even right-handed, um, but I don't know, I've heard a lot of good things about this knife from righties, it's probably, maybe it's more of a top flipper, Ugh. no, that hurts, <laughs> that hurts, uh, yeah, I think this is more for smaller hands. My, my uh, large size hands are not having a good time with this. This would be how I would open it. I would just stick my finger right here and flip it up. That's what she said. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's interesting. That's the way to go right there. Because if I try this, my hand starts wrapping around the front, right? And I can do it, but it starts to feel like the blade is going to slip out of my hand and fall. Um, uh, so, but this thing is gorgeous, guys. I mean, just look at this thing. Look at the carbon fiber on this. I mean, fantastic carbon fiber. Riot just does such a good job on carbon fiber, titanium. They do a great job on everything. I, I hate to just sit and toot somebody's horn, but with Riot, you know, I'm just loving them right now. I have so many Riot's that I've recently got or I have coming in as loaners or that I uh, have on the way as purchases. Um, I think I have a couple more coming. I have the the Giant Mouse Ace Riv on the way. Um, I bought that off of Buddy. I just bought um, the Arc Form uh, Slim Foot in all titanium. When that dropped today, I bought one of those. Um, so I'm stoked about that. Riyadh's just killing it. But anyway, guys, this is the Bushido here, front flipper. Uh, it's not too lefty friendly, as I suspected. So I'm glad I got to check one out because I was pretty much like sold on getting one of those uh, Riyadh tributes, 
which is the same handle, I think, uh, except it has a straighter blade. Um, so the same issues would happen there. Um, and this is kind of what happened with the Pena knives that I had, the Apache I had, and the uh, Barlow. That was before um, I started the channel, so you guys didn't see them. You may have seen them on Instagram, but um, they just didn't work for a lefty, so I ended up moving on from them. Uh, but they were awesome knives. Can't deny that. So, interesting. That was a pretty good one right there. But I'm just slipping here. It's just so hard. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks for sticking with me, guys. Sorry, it's a late night. Um, I will uh, let you know what I think. I'll do a first impressions or just skip right to the review. It depends on the knife, what I do there. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I will catch you later.